the love of many shall wax cold. Matthew 24 and 12. And because iniquity shall bound, the love of many shall wax cold. I want to give all the honor, glory, and praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rabbi Chakodash, double honor to my elders at Great Millstone, sing honor to the elect, peace and blessings to the one third, and to the confused in the faces of the four corners of the earth, Shalom. Getting right into it, I have three articles I want to get into. I want to be long, but this is <laughs> this is the times that we're living in. Okay, people are stressed out. Losing their jobs, um, families are being broken up. There's this whole gender war. There's this whole sexist war. It, it's just, it's America is really that melting pot of wickedness, right? And the state in the minds of the people, they're just going rogue. And you, you remember, everything is spiritual. Everything is spiritual. Remember, the scripture said there are spirits that created for vengeance. So everything is spiritual. So check this out. Six dead, including three children. In Tennessee, murder suicide. Okay. It says a seventh person was injured in the incident and transported to a hospital. These six people were found dead, including three children, y'all. Three children. At a Tennessee home. An apparent murder suicide. A murder suicide is where the person that takes their own life, they take others' lives with them before they take their own life. That's what a murder suicide is. So it's it's premeditated. It's it's like for instance, if I'm drunk, if not me, whew, and let's say John is driving in the car with his wife and two kids, and he's arguing with her, and he deliberately veers off the road, and they like. Crash and down at the bottom of a canyon and die. Well, you could say that was a murder suicide. But let's say they're driving and like there's some object in the road and he he veers off. He's like trying to steer away so he can avoid it. And then they fall off the cliff and, and they perish. Then that wasn't a murder, murder suicide. They just unfortunately lost their lives. This was premeditated with three children included. Okay, let that sink in, y'all. Right? So, Marion County deputies and Jasper police officers responded to reports of shots fired around 9 p.m. local time on Thursday, only to find the house was set on fire, according to the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation. Once firefighters put out the flames, police found the remains of three adults and three children inside the home. A seventh person who had sustained gunshot wounds and the incident was found alive and was transported to the hospital, according to officials. The individual believed to be responsible for the deaths was among those found dead, according to officials. Now, why would they say that um, they believe that the person who, who, who took them all out was dead? Because there was somebody who was a witness, the person who survived. So whatever their testimony was... They, they can't really put that out in the, in, the, in the news right now. So they're saying they believe that the people, the six who passed away, one of them was also the murderer who also committed suicide and set the house on fire. And the person who was shot escaped and must have told him that. That's why they call them the murder suicide. You know, and that's crazy, but it's not crazy. That's just the spirit of the Lord. Matthew 24 and 12, and because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. Remember, the scripture says, and what is it, First, First Samuel 2 and 6, the scripture says, um, I kill and I make alive. I make poor and I make rich. Roughly paraphrasing. That's what the Lord does. It was it, Psalms, Psalms 60, 68 and like 21, if I'm not mistaken. Where it says the issues of death belong to the Lord. The issues of death. God gives us life. Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Yahweh the Heavenly Father gives us life. And if the Lord did with a balance, what can only follow after that to balance it? Death. So the Lord is orchestrated that. That's why it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the Lord. That's why it's good to be humble and to be meek. Pride is not made for men. 
But listen to this though. Second Ezra chapter 14 verse 16. Reading out of the Apocrypha. For yet greater evils than those which thou hast seen happen shall be done hereafter. Right? So this is this is this is what's happening in a quote unquote. This is what's happening in a quote unquote civilized society. Alright, check this out. Ohio father Chad Chad Dorman lined up, executed three young sons with a rifle. Let that sink in. I believe these to be his own sons. He set them up. Listen to this, y'all. This is an execution. And and Ohio stop it. And Ohio father lined up his three young yep, his sons, his three young sons and executed them in a planned act of murder absolutely this is capital murder premeditated they said chad dorman admitted a scheme so he admitted to it confessed he appeared in court on three charges of aggravated murder aggravated murder never heard of that friday shackled and wearing a green patent vest typically used to prevent people from killing themselves well this wasn't a murder suicide Clermont County Chief Persecutor, Prosecutor David Gass said this was the worst crime he's seen in his career. Gotta, you got to imagine. He said Dorman lined up the boys ages 3, 4, and 7. If I'm not mistaken, 3, what, three, to, 3 to 5 is, no, I think what, 1 to 3 is a toddler. If I'm not mistaken. And the ages up from that is our adolescence. It wasn't even teenagers. His own, if I'm not mistaken, his own blood sons. Right? You said Dorman lined up the boys ages 3, 4, and 7 and at their home and executed them with a rifle. Gas said one of the boys tried to flee into a field but Dorman hunted him down. Brought him back to the house in Monroe Township, Ohio, and killed him. Imagine the psychological warfare going on inside that boy's head. Papa, killing two of your brothers. You run in the field. He's chasing you. You think he going to kill you while you running? He captures you. Bring you back to the house, then kills you? Man. Man, oh man. Chad Dorman hunting down one son who tried to flee, prosecutor said. The boy's mother was shot in the hand in an attempt to save her sons. Man, ain't no telling what's going on in this man's head. What the hell is this between two slices of bread? What the hell? Man, this place got to go. I'm sorry y'all even seeing that. The boy's mother was shot in... <laughs> the boy's mother was shot in the hand in an attempt to save her sons, the prosecutor said. The trauma this man has inflicted is unspeakable, Gas said. The evil horror of what we know is impossible to process. Facts. Bond said at $20 million, man, for Chad Dorman following shooting in Claremont County, Ohio. Come on, y'all. This It says, quote, he was their world, Gas said. Unquote, Gas said. Quote, he, w- he was their guardian and he executed them in cold blood. Unquote. So think about this. They loved this man. They looked up to this man and he killed them. He murdered them. That goes to show you, man, it's spiritual. Like, like there have been cases when people have been in court and the their prosecutor asking them, you know, what do you remember? You know, this is a murderer. And they were like, I don't know. All I know is that I got upset. You know, everything just went blank. Everything went black. And and then when I came to it, you know, I just felt this warm sensation over my body. And I realized it was blood all over me. Like, they'll say that. They just blacked out. Man, that's a spirit. A demon got on them, man. Man, this is the man right here. And look at, he like, look at this man. This man look like he want to cry. As if he like, what, the, what have I done? But think about it. You chased one of your sons down, brought him back, and murdered them. Now he's looking like, what the hell? Man, I'm telling you, man, this is so spiritual. This is why you got to be humble. Guy said, Dorman has made a full confession that he not only committed the killings, but also planned them. We can't name a person who poses a greater threat to the community. Guy said, that's crazy, man. 
That's crazy. Claremont County Prosecutor. They held these children knowing there was nothing they could do. The prosecutor said the sheriff office first responders in the community at large have been left traumatized. He said the deputies who arrived at the scene attempted to perform CPR on the boys. They held these children knowing there was nothing they could do. Gas said, how do you unsee that sort of abomination? Abomination is a filthy, wicked act. Now imagine those officers going home to their families and they had to see those three boys dead. They tried to resuscitate them knowing there was nothing they can do. And this man planned it. Pfft. Can't fathom, right? These are the times we're living in. His, pre his preliminary hearing is scheduled June 26. Damn, they pushed that shit ahead of everything. We're going to get you up out of here quick. But these are the times we're living in, man. Matthew 24 and 12. And because of nickel, he shall abound. The love of many shall wax cold. Second Edges 14 and 16. For yet greater evils than those which thou hast seen happen shall be done hereafter. We're talking about in Jacob's trouble. So just imagine, this man did this to his own children. His own blood, right? What do you think a man like this would do to somebody who's not his kin? Right? Imagine this world in the, a lawless society in these last days, man, during Jacob's trouble. We're going to need faith. No way we're going to be able to make it. Remember? If the righteous scarcely be saved, we're going to scarcely be saved, y'all. 2 Thessalonians chapter 3, verse 1 through 3, and I'm going to close out. Finally, brethren, pray for us, who? The elect, that the word of the Lord may have free course and be glorified even as it is with you. Listen here. And that we may be delivered from unreasonable and wicked men, for all men have not faith. Think about this, y'all. What was the what was the reason for this? This is just unreasonable. Your own children? When well, you lost your job, you couldn't feel I don't know, but come on. Right? Then you shot the wife in the hand. The mother. It's crazy. That's wicked. Because all men have not faith. Right? And to close out, verse 3, but the Lord is faithful, who shall, who shall establish you and keep you from evil. So just keep that in mind, y'all. You had a murder-suicide of six people, right? Three of them was children. The person who had a gunshot wound escaped. This man executed his three sons and shot their mother in the hand. These are the times we're living in. And also, a little extra credit, a little bonus, if I may. It says, I'm going to read it verbatim what it says. Black women hit hard by crime in Chicago. In other words, Judahite women, Israelite women, right? Check this out, y'all. Look at this chart. 2022 crimes in Chicago by race and sex. Well, you see the, the velvet, I guess you could say, color, all right? F is for female. The, the, underneath it, M is for male. It's talking about a Judahite man and woman. The women have suffered twice as many battery um crime, crimes of battery against them than the men. And look at the look at that look at that look at that bar how it just continues to get it's more and more and more thefts, assault and, and criminal and more all other kind of crimes against the women. There are much more on them than there are of men. Why? For one, there's more women on this earth. And for two, I don't need no man. Okay. Sooner or later you're gonna find out. But with that being said, I pray y'all stay fine, fed, stay in the spirit, don't fear it, just endure it, ask for forgiveness, pray without a season, stay humble, remain diligent, call my Allah, buffalo, ball, shalom.